Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to our tutorial uh, Action Script to Horse Race. Okay, this is the game here, and we'll just click the Start button, and then get on that arrow key, and our brown horse is won. Let's race again. Oh, we've just got a head by a nose there, and one more time. Oh, the gray horse has won this time. Okay then, so let's uh, go across to Flash and work out how we're going to make this game. Alright, the first thing we need to do is create new Flash file, Action Script 3. And we need to import our background. So import to library. And this background, we made this in Photoshop. What we did is we had a picture of some horses racing and then we used Photoshop to um, sort of clone over the top of the horses. Okay, so we used the rubber stamp tool and we also used the uh, patch tool, okay, to patch over the top. So we'll bring that in and we'll need to resize that to uh, fit the frame. Okay, hang on, we're on the text tool there. Just uh, let's get out of that. Now, Let's check the size. The size here is 550 by 400. Okay, we want to change that um, size because we want it to fit in our blog post. So we're going to make it 540, but you could make yours wider and bigger. And we'll go for 540, let's say by about 380 in size here. All right, now we need to get that picture and stretch it out. Let's just drop down to 50% for a minute here. Um, get on our picture and then we can go to the third tool down, which is the free transform tool. And we'll just get on our picture there and kind of stretch it out, mess about and get it fitting onto our stage. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go 100%. All right, what we need to do now is um, put the instructions in. So to do that, we're going to use the rectangle tool uh, right here. We've got a black pencil line around the outside, one full, and then for the fill color, we're just using this uh, maroon color here. All right, so we need to draw in our text box which is going to go about here. All right, now that's gone behind everything, so what we need to do is get onto our picture and we need to go to Arrange and we need to send that right to the back. Okay, and our box still is not showing at the moment. All right, then we'll try something else. Let's just move that out the way. There's our box. Let's grab that and take it over here. Uh, we'll just put our background back into position there. And um, I'm noticing that's not quite fitting, actually. So we'll have to get to the free transform tool. Sorry, got a bit of messing around here. All right, so there's our box. Let's click on that and go to... Um, okay. I need to bring that out to the front. All right, so if we right click it, um, okay, we need to be on the black arrow tool when we do this, I think. Uh, we'll right click it now, and we can, don't seem to be able to bring it to the front there. Okay. Okay, what seems to be the problem there is Flash didn't like us having those as two separate objects. So we're drawing a square around them with the black arrow tool and we're going to go modify and combine objects and union those two guys together, all right? Now it's one object with the outline and the inside all in one. Now if we draw a rectangle around that holding down the mouse with the black arrow, we can now go right click and we can go arrange and bring that to the front. Now when we slide it across, okay, it's going to fit on our picture. We'll just uh, go to the third one down and resize it. Let's get to 100% here. Um, just get it into that spot where we want it. 
okay, so a bit of fiddling around here. Alright, nearly there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, now we need to get the text into that. So we're going to use the text tool and go on top of there. We're going to have some um, light yellow kind of writing. Alright, and then we'll put our text in, which is going to be two horse race and shift enter and then we need to paste some um, write some text in there which I'll just pause and I'll do that and come back okay so we've typed the text in and that's all good now all right so let's um, now make our start button all right so again we'll just use the rectangle tool but we'll um, make this thing off the stage so we'll just draw it over here for now okay and then we need to get the text tool and we'll just uh, let's see go for maybe aerial black on this and type in our start and it's going to be no good having it that way around we'll need white writing and it looks like my caps locks on so I'll take that off start and let's just move that guy onto there okay now we're going to make that into a button so let's get the black arrow tool so I've just built this off the stage so we don't have any front and back kind of problems or mo accidentally move anything around um, that's already set up so let's highlight all of that and we need to go to modify convert to symbol or you could just press the F8 key now this one needs to be button so no it's not movie clip but button we've got button clicked and we need to call this start S-T-A-R-T and then the flash kind of stand is to do BTN in capital letters and we say OK alright down in the properties we'll now might as well just get that and move it into position there on our game all right, now down in the properties here at instance name, all right, we need to give it an instance name. So we're going to call it the same thing, start BTN. And that name is going to be very important and the small letters and big letters because that is uh, what we will be using, all right, when we do the action script, which we're going to do now. So up in layers here, we'll just go to, um, let's see, let's just go call this layer one here we'll rename it and that's going to be the main stage all right now this is in frame one at the moment in the timeline okay now the race is going to start in frame two so what we need to do is copy this what we've got now into frame two so let's just do that right now we'll click into frame two and if we press the pf6 button okay that copies this guy from frame one into frame two. Now in frame two, we're not gonna need the text box, so we'll just, uh, hang on. We've got everything highlighted at the moment. We'll just um, take out some of these things that we don't need, and we won't need the start button. So, okay, frame one's gonna have the instructions, the start button. Frame two will just take us to here where we're gonna put our horses in and start our race, all right? So the main stage is all set up. Uh, let's now get into making a new layer. Down here in the left-hand side, we go onto this guy, which is insert layer. Double click his name there. This one's gonna be where we write the action script code. So we'll just put AS 3.0. Some people write actions or code, but we'll just put that. Make sure we're clicked in here on the AS3 in frame number one. Okay, that's where we're writing the action code for this. And we need to go to window and then to actions, or you can press the F9 key, which will take us into the actions editor. All right, now we've got our action script already written here in a text file. So let's just grab that and we'll highlight it in control C to copy. And up here, we'll just go control V to paste it in. All right, let's go through this code. When you have slash slash at the start like that, they're all comment lines. So they're not actually like doing anything in the game. What they're uh, there for, their purpose is to explain what we're doing. So you can see uh, you always start off with a flash stop command that just stops 
everything in that frame, anything that's running before we start doing the stuff we want to do. And what we want is when the start button is clicked in frame one, we just want Flash to go to frame two. And it's in frame two later on we'll be making our game. So onto that start button, notice we spelt it start BTN, the same as its instance name uh, when we set it up in the properties. We're going to have an event listener, which is a it's kind of like a checker thing that's going to check whether someone has clicked the mouse onto that button and if it has clicked the mouse onto the button it's going to do this last thing here which is start race okay start race is a function which we immediately define underneath function start race all right what that's going to do is uh, when that mouse event happens which we've said previously is a click it's going to go to and stop to so flash will move ahead to frame two and stop right there all right so that's what's going to do so that's all done, so now that we just need to uh, control enter basically and test. Okay, so our movie's running, our game, and we can get down here with the hand symbol, click on the start button, and that's taken us to the second frame, and that's where we're going to build our race in later tutorials, all right? So that was a little bit fiddly there, um, getting that started, but the main thing we wanted to show you there was that it's best to build your items off the stage. So make that rectangle and its outline off the stage, highlight those guys, remember do combine and union to join them up into one thing. Then once you've done that you will be able to go to arrange and bring them to the front. Likewise with that start button we built that off the stage, uh, got it all set up with its instance name down here, start button that could be referenced in the action script. Then we moved it across and put it on there. Alright, so all we need to do now is just save this project and then we'll be back with part two, a separate video where we're going to get our first horse in and get him running uh, to the finish line. All right. Okay, thank you for watching and look out for part two. Also in the YouTube video, there'll be a link to our website, which will have a full explanation of the whole horse race. Okay, then this has been Passy's World of ICT. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.